I'm Ellen Turner. I'm the Academic Dean at Northfield Mount Hermon School, and I'm here to talk to you about some of my favorite reads. Uh, what I think is important when one is reading is that they're pulled into a story, whether it is fiction or nonfiction. It has to be something that pulls me in where I don't want to let it go, where I want to just read, 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 curl up for the weekend read. And some of my books that I've recommended are those kind of books. Number one would be Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. Great read. I never thought that I would think that World War II was interesting or fascinating. This is a non-fiction book um, and it centers around a man who uh, was a, a runner, a good runner, um, and he went into the army and uh, was shot down um, over uh, the Pacific, uh, was captured by the Japanese. And what I found in this book was I was um, introduced to the whole Pacific theater of World War II in a way in which I never was in, in a classroom and loved it. Um, it's a great story and a great read. It's, it's a read for people who are athletes because they'll follow Louie who's an athlete. It's a, it's a read for history buffs and it's a read for people who just want to know more about the world and how to take care of oneself when crisis strikes. Second book that I really want to talk about is The Alienist by um, Caleb Carr. I haven't read this in many, many years, but what I remember about reading this book was that um, I was pulled back to New York City, turn of the century, between, it was 1896, I think is the, is the date that this is, is um, set in. And it's, it's just a wonderful read. It's a good crime novel. Uh, you were introduced, uh, you're introduced to Teddy Roosevelt um, and uh, being police commissioner of New York City and what he does to, to capture somebody who is um, slowly killing young boys. Um, it's a fiction, but it's terrific. So enjoy reading five good stories that pull you in. Ha, <laughs> ha,